Understanding retained rights in legal terms. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a legal term that can be quite puzzling, retained rights. We'll break down what it means and how it's used, so you'll have a clear understanding by the end of this video. Let's dive in. Retained rights refers to the rights that a person or entity keeps, even after transferring some rights to another party. Imagine you're an author who sells a book to a publisher. If you keep the movie rights, those are your retained rights. You've given the publisher some rights, but not all. It's like sharing a cake but keeping a few slices for yourself. Now, let's look at retained rights in various scenarios. 1. Intellectual property. An inventor patents a gadget but allows a company to manufacture it. The inventor retains the right to modify the design. 2. Property sales. Selling land but retaining the mineral rights. You sell the surface, but what's underground is still yours. 3. Employment contracts. An employee might create something during their job but retain personal rights to their creation outside of work. These examples show how retained rights can apply in different areas, always revolving around holding back certain privileges or ownership aspects. Understanding retained rights is crucial because it affects legal agreements. Not clearly defining these rights can lead to disputes. It's essential to specify what rights are retained and what are transferred to avoid misunderstandings and legal complications. And that's a wrap on retained rights. Remember, it's all about what rights you keep when you give others away. We hope this video clarifies this legal term for you. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more insightful English language learning content.